Get a look at that. That is something out of a freaking nightmare. Legend has it that there are monsters lurking in the sewers of Dallas. Some say they're half fish and half alien. Equipped with a mouth full of razor sharp teeth and a taste for blood, this monster like creature is something out of a horror film. And today, Alright guys, so today we're testing out this lure right here, the Guggen Hound, to see if we can catch some of the urban monsters that lay here in our canals in Texas. Now once again, this lure is originally designed by Ketchco and Guggen, which is actually today's sponsor. If you guys do not already know about Ketchco, they are one of the best companies that helps manufacture baits with all sorts of companies around the industry, like Guggen, 10,000 Fish, Biospawn, Bad Fish, and many more. If you guys did not already know, you can use my link below. Get on over to shopcarls.com, take a look at these lures and the other fine selections they have there as well. And you can also use my discount code RYANR10 to save yourself some money off your first purchase. But now that you guys know the name of the game and where you can pick up this lure, let's get out there and see how it fares against these urban monsters. Right now we're gonna just walk around this pretty urban looking canal and try to see if we can see any shadows. I actually see, are those shadows? I think I see. A gar already. Yep, yep, just like that. Already got popped. Yep, there's a few right here in front of me. Here he comes. Here comes another one. I didn't even put scent on my bait either. We need to put shad scent on it. Yeah, hold up. Now we gotta put some scent on it since they know. Even that pop, dude. I didn't even have a chance to explain my lure or any of this stuff. All right, guys, so I'm going to kind of walk you through what we got right here. So Velcro on both the top and the bottom of this bait. I'm going to put my scent on the bottom of this bait, so I'm going to get it all over the side of the bait and on my hands. I might put a little bit on the top and on the tail right here. That's and then, chapstick. no, it's not chapstick, buddy. You don't want this. You want to put some on yours, though, because it definitely helps. Um, and then we got rope that we just tied around with actually like sewing string and super glue. So the idea of this bait is a lot of these gars have needle type teeth, real thin teeth. And when they bite onto baits like this, you're hoping that if they don't get the hooks, that they just get snagged on this type of uh, material, any type of material that I have here, honestly, because there's almost three different types, including this feather. And uh, once they get snagged, they'll start doing their kind of death roll, death shake, similar to an actual alligator. And that's when you're hoping that they'll either get hooked or they'll get snagged. And uh, if not, hopefully the Velcro and these, these actual pieces of rope will hold that bad boy in. So we're going to try a few more casts over there. I did see a few actual fish hugged up in those uh, little shaded areas. So now there is one right here in front of me and one in the middle. You can barely see them. They just look like a, here's one, here's one. Here we go. And you can get it right in front of them. There we go. He missed it. He missed it. He missed it. He's still there. I don't think he'll bite again. A lot of times with these gar, they'll only bite once. Oh, he came back at it. He smells that shad. He's on it, his nose is on it. You see him? Yeah. <laughs> it's like after two, I'm telling you, after the, after one cast, it's like they, they don't want it no more. There he goes. He smells the scent, but he's not going all the way for it. And the way that these feathers, they're honestly making the bait lay sideways versus straight up because the hooks are getting snagged on this uh, this Velcro right here. It's all right. We will find one and we will get one. One will bite it. He's still right here, dude. This is a, it's not a big one, but it's like a like a couple pounder. He missed it. It's like you move it right when they get there and they want it even more. Let it sit there. Sometimes they'll hit it, sometimes they'll just do that like bass thing where they just, you know, they don't actually strike it. I'm gonna test it out right now. We'll just leave it there. See? He's smelling it. He's smelling it up. I'm gonna smell it up, boys. I'm gonna smell it up real good. Look at this freaking fish. <laughs> He's basically making out with it. He's like, what is this thing? 
he realized he couldn't eat it. All right, guys, we see a gar really, really shallow. Oh, he's oh, he hit it so good, but he missed the hooks. Dude, we almost had that one. It was this close. I don't think he's going to bite again. Once they bite one time, it's really hard to get him to bite the second time. My heart is pounding right now, dude. dude mine too. <laughs> oh my god. And that was a good size one. Dude, that top water is just as crazy as like when a bass hits top water. Yeah, it really is. It's it's almost even more fun because when these guys jump and shake, you want to talk about some crazy stuff. Oh, there he is. I can see him. Yep, yep. Oh my goodness. He had it for a second and spit it out. That was a short nose. That's why he's bigger. Man, we're finding them. Just can't get them to stick. Ah, my sandals almost fell. Uh, I can tell my GoPro is going to overheat soon too. All right guys, day number two out here trying to catch these canal river monsters. Now I did do a little bit of rethinking and some lure modification back at the house. Uh, went ahead and trimmed off the rope on these hooks and tried to make it so it's a little bit easier for them to just grab onto those hooks and not grab onto that material and then kind of just shake the bait away. So without further ado guys, let's get back after and see if we can catch ourselves an urban canal monster. Oh, big guard just jumps right here in front of me. That was a good size one. And the water today is so muddy that you can't see them. And it's going to get hot, real hot. I'm out here, it's about 7 a.m. right now. These fish are really, really cool fish because they actually like to come up when it starts to get really hot in the day. So what they can do is when it's really, really hot outside and the oxygen levels are really low in the water, they surface up. They're able to breathe that normal air, which is why later in the day it should be easier to spot them. But today's temperatures in Texas are going to be astronomically hot. I think we're hitting like 107 by one. So, freaking had it in his mouth. I just didn't see it until he was uh, turning. That gar came out of the deep. It was a good gar right there. Oh, that's a gar we gotta set the hook on. That's the one we're after. So later in the day it's getting better man getting hotter cameras overheating a lot more challenges but uh in this pocket right here where i'm at there's like gar left and right they're coming out of these deep pockets see if i just kind of let my lure sit which is a nice change of events there's a good one oh, oh, oh he was hooked mm. That's the closest we've actually got to hooking one. 100% had the hook in his mouth. Did not set the hook, which is maybe a good thing, but he shook it before I even had a chance to put any tension on. There's another good one. So you gotta give it to them right in front of their face. They want it. It's a short nose and then a spotted right in front of me. Nice short nose too, man. Nice stout one. I'd say about maybe five to six pounds. Oh! 
Yes, yes, yes. Did we get ourselves our first gar? Yep. He's still on. Yep, 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 yep. I think he spit me. He might be on still. Yeah, he's still on. Oh my goodness. Just flipping it right here into this grass. Let's see if I can muscle him up. Oh my god. Yes. 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 I'm so freaking hyped right now, guys. We got ourselves our first one of the day. I think this is a new species for me too. This is gonna be the spotted, AKA, yes, he is a spotted gar. Thought he was gonna be a long nose at first. Oh my goodness, I'm so freaking hyped right now. I'm so freaking hyped. We got my freaking fish on the lure that I made. Let's go, guys. The cool thing about these fish is they breathe air. So right now we can technically not have to rush or go crazy to get this guy free. You gotta get a belt out. That's how I secure them so they don't get crazy on me. But I'm gonna get the big camera real quick. Start rolling. This guy was jumping like a freaking tarpon in a canal. That is why I love these fish. I have yet to catch a bass that does anything like that these gar do. They're so hard to keep on the hook too when you have them like that. You gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. Beautiful, beautiful scaly creature. Look at the armor on these fish. Prehistoric creatures meant to live and sustain long lives because this armor that they're built with, strong, small head, Got these nostrils right here that they can breathe through. Insane creature. The way their body's built too, their eyes technically can see almost 180 degrees. So not only are these fish fun to catch, but they are great predatorial creature that have been alive for a really, really long time. It's actually, that's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried about, right there. They start doing these death rolls. Quick. Fish. There we go. There we go. He is free. He is free. He is free. Oh my goodness, he's cooking like crazy. Let's see. Let's see if I can hold on to this guy. No. So much muscle, these fish right here. It's like fighting a solid arm. So I can get up here and try to show you guys what this fish looks like. Insane. If we were to catch, oh, so freaking hard to fit. So hard to hold. I can't imagine if we were to catch a full size one, how we'd be able to get this guy up and show you exactly his style, his muscle, the fight. This thing's insane, guys. I'm exhausted right now. I get this rope around him just like that. There we go, guys. Our first look at those mean, sharp teeth. Get a look at those insane creature man we've been after these guys for quite a long time two days to finally get our first canal monster on deck beautiful spotted gar i'm ready to get him back in the water man he is just draining me right now oh, this is insane literally well guys on that note we got ourselves our first canal monster we got it on our handmade setup and we were able to test it on one of my favorite affordable combos and setups so with that being said i'm exhausted this weather is hot and the fish as you can see are far and few in between so i think we are going to call it for the day hopefully you had fun watching as as much fun as i had out here chasing these river creatures these canal monsters in this urban environment and uh, hopefully you learned a little bit more about these fish, about how you can sneak up on them, how you can actually target them, the lures you can use, and maybe a little bit more about their behavior and uh, you know how you can use that to your advantage. Hopefully catch some fish like this in the future for yourself because like you see, when they get going, those jumps, those flips, those fights, if there wasn't grass here, this guy would have been jumping all over the place and it would have been a lot more fun, but still, we were able to secure that guy. Ton of fun, ton of effort. I'm exhausted. So without further ado, guys, we are gonna be going home from here and closing out the video right here. So hopefully you had some fun watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about these fish and we'll catch y'all in the next one.